With the advent of IOTA 2.0 came a new set of tokenomics revolving around two tokens, the IOTA token and MANA. Now, we all know that the IOTA token is the native token of the ecosystem, providing voting power, serving as a means to validate the IOTA network, and also being the publicly traded token of the ecosystem. But what about MANA? Well, MANA is generated by just holding the IOTA tokens, and it's the real driver behind IOTA 2.0's sustainable economics. You see, to create an economy that is void of inflation of the IOTA tokens, MANA is used as a secondary token that allows you to perform certain actions on the IOTA 2.0 network. MANA allows any IOTA account holder to create transactions, mint NFTs, engage with smart contracts, and more. MANA is also used to reward validators for securing the network. So instead of rewarding in IOTA tokens which could result in increased sell pressure, MANA is earned instead. MANA is also used to reward delegators for assigning their voting power to a validator. Delegators keep in mutually agreed parts of the MANA rewards earned by these validators. So, how do you get MANA? Well, there's a variety of ways. You can simply hold the IOTA tokens and get MANA. You can purchase MANA tokens from other account holders. Participating in consensus and validating transaction also gives MANA. And also there's delegation. So, why is MANA important? First off, with MANA, anyone can participate in consensus, making the system truly decentralized. Secondly, since MANA is used to reward validators, it incentivizes them to hold their IOTA tokens to earn more MANA rather than sell off those IOTA tokens, increasing the economic security of the network. Now, if you'd like to learn more about MANA, visit the link in the description of this video today.